here at Rotec and Paul, you've just purchased yet another star machine. Um, in fact, two, the SR32 J2 Type B machine. But before we find out from Chloe and Will what you're putting on the machine, why have you gone yet again for Star? Star's a brand we started out with uh, in the early days of Rotec, um, and it just works for us. They're, they're, you know, they're great. It's a great brand. It's a fantastic package. Uh, and, but I think the most important thing for us is the people behind the, you know, in the UK that sit behind Star. They're all engineers. They come from a similar background to me in terms of single spin spindle um, cam auto type machinery. They really get the uh, concept of the speed we have to operate at and, and the number of parts we need to produce over a given period of time. Early days of Star adoption for us were uh, the machines are way of respect for what we required. We really bought them for their reliability, the, the ability to turn out parts through the night, over the weekend, etc. etc. However, obviously we've, we've learned all the tricks that, within Star's, the different uh, options within them. These days we're making parts on stars that really you look at you think well, that would be a mill part or whatever. Uh, and we're making gears on them, I mean with a huge variety of parts. Anything really un uh, under 38 mil that goes through this shop will go onto a star. And Paul, you've got a UK flag up here, it's huge. Why have you put that up there? Well obviously we're you know, proud of our UK heritage, but ultimately uh, star, because of their reliability, has allowed us to run most of the machines 100% of the time, giving us globally competitive pricing and we're now reshoring parts from abroad in the UK uh, and that's, coming, that's happening more and more. Most of our growth is coming from reshoring parts. So Will, we're standing in front of the SR32J2 start sliding head machine. Yeah. What parts are you making on this machine? So on these machines, um, we're making currently we're making lots of gears. So we're making hundreds of thousands of, of gears for, for, for customers of ours. Um, again, it's something new for us. Um, it's something. It's a new technology we've we've invested in. A lot of our 32 mil capacity is starting to become uh, older now. Um, so we recognise that over the coming years, we're going to have to uh, further invest in 32 mil capacity. But also gear hobbing um, is something we we only have existingly. We only had one machine that could do it. Uh, we now have three. So it's fantastic that Rotec are getting into this new industry. Um, what are your cycle times? So how long are you running the machine for? So this in particular machine, um, we recognised in order to meet the, the customer demands and also to, to maximise the efficiency of the machine, um, we knew from the very start that we were going to have to be running these machines um, at, at 23 hours a day minimum, which is quite challenging. So especially when you're, when you're talking about a, a very highly tolerant part in a very hard material, we're talking H900 condition, uh, stainless steel. Um, so that is quite a challenge. So um, that we knew from the start to, to, to simply make any money out of this job uh, we needed to, to really really milk it hard uh, and really sort of maximize the efficiency uh, productivity uh, and we've been working really closely with, with the boys at star um, to make that happen um, with the the the, uh, the gear hobbing companies the tooling companies it's been a real sort of group project to, to make this happen and we're happy to say that we now are and that green light is on most of the day um, and if it's not, I'm, I'm soon to be running down the shop and, and asking questions why. And obviously the relationship that you have with Star and the amount of support that they've given you um, is fantastic. And we're going to go into that with Matt later on. Um, also, the machines are heavier. It's got a tougher spindle, quicker spindle. Have you seen any advantages of that in your parts? Yeah, so, I mean, SR technology, SR J2 Type B machines, uh, we've got four of them now. Uh, we had four of them um, in, in the 20 mil versions. The logical thing to do was to go for the 32 mil variant machines. You get all the functionality, speed, speeds, rapids that you get on the smaller machines, but with the larger capacity. Um, and even though the 32, I think you can go up to 36 mil in non guide push wow. mode. So yeah. just further uh, sort of advancing our envelope of, of parts that we can take on. I was going to ask you what achievements have you had with the machines, but obviously you've answered that question for me. You're going to yeah. be getting more machines and putting yeah. the gear cutting on there, which is absolutely fantastic. So. You like Star, so what can you say about Star as a company? Star as a company, I can only really say good things. Obviously, we've been investing in their technology for almost as long as I've been alive. Um, <laughs> so I think about 20 years, uh, 25 years, we've been investing in Star technology. Uh, flawless since the start. Um, the service is great. The, the, the team they've got around them uh, is brilliant. And we know that on the rare occasion that one of these machines might go down, um, we'll have someone with a same day, if not within the next 24 hours on the machine, getting it back in, back, back in production again, which, which is important. That's perfect. Thanks for your time, Will. Thank you.